my dear friends i invite you to reflect on the salvific message and mission of jesus on the cross that is seven statements of jesus or sayings of jesus on the cross a reading from the holy gospel according to st john chapter 19 verse 15 the crowd cried out away take him away crucify him pilate replied shall i crucify you a king and the chief priest answered we have no king but caesar my dear friends in christ jesus as we have seven sayings of jesus on the cross the lord jesus was hanging in between heaven and earth my dear friends heaven and earth are supporting jesus that we think but jesus says to each one of us i am hanging in between heaven and earth for you and the lord says in today's reflection seven sayings of jesus the seven sayings of jesus are nothing but they are salvific operations of jesus on the cross they are the final essential expression of jesus on the cross for each one of us as they are recorded in the gospels for the fulfillment of messianic prophecy my dear friends in christ jesus they reveal to each one of us jesus christ is the universal messiah my dear friends what do you understand by the crucifixion crucifixion is a salvific device for the sinful humanity for us jesus has given the device where to get the connected for the salvation therefore through which jesus christ bore the suffering the excruciating suffering to jesus in order to redeem the whole world my dear friends in christ jesus i invite you to contemplate and reflect the last breath of jesus on the cross which is the source and summit of our christian faith the longest breath for each one of us to breathe in and to live jesus let us pray in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen the first sayings of jesus on the cross jesus speaks to his father that we read gospel according to saint luke chapter 23 verse 34 says father forgive them they do not know what they are doing my dear friends in christ jesus jesus confirms the divine procession and heavenly relationship with the father in his excruciating suffering the eyes of jesus focused on the others the heart of jesus is to save the hearts of others at the same time the cry of jesus to forgive others my dear friends in christ jesus his heart his eyes is cry for others let us think about this is the nature of the love of jesus the love of jesus is a universal the love of jesus is unconditional the love of jesus is divine let us reflect a while while jesus was experiencing the pain while jesus was experiencing 
the crucifixion jesus did not change the heart his own nature to be the father let us reflect while experiencing the horrible pain of crucifixion jesus was praying for others jesus was forgiving others though they deliberately inflicted the pain though they were deliberately causing the pain my dear friends in christ jesus let us reflect a while are we forgiving and praying for others let us reflect do we change our nature when we get into the problem the pain jesus did not change his nature of generosity of heart jesus did not change his identity to be god rather in all his pain in all his problems jesus was united with the father he forgave his heart was immaculate love for others let us pray almighty merciful father you forgive others forgive us for not knowing you more and more for not experiencing you more and more help us lord jesus to focus on others necessity than our comfortability amen 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 the second sayings of jesus jesus speaks to the criminals that we read gospel according to luke chapter 23 verse 43 i tell you the truth today you will be with me in paradise my dear followers of christ in jesus here we find out two types of criminals one the criminals with the faith in jesus in the world secondly the criminals without faith in jesus in the world what we find with the jesus the same two types of criminals one a criminal with the faith in jesus when we understand that criminal he understood about jesus who jesus is he recognized who jesus is he heard about the teachings and preachings of jesus he experienced the miracles of jesus at last he accepted jesus is personal savior not only a personal savior but also the savior of the world my dear friends in christ jesus let us understand our own life what are the ways that we understand jesus is secondly a criminal without faith in jesus a criminal without faith in jesus picturizes a person who denied faith in jesus one secondly who mocked at the savings of christ or the saving act of jesus at last he did evil things the sight of god he entered into the world of darkness my dear friends in christ jesus let us also think about our own life what are the ways that we are entering into the world of darkness let us reflect a while are we an authentic follower of christ in word and deed what types of criminals that we are that we are falling into a criminal with a faith in jesus a criminal without faith in jesus or an authentic follower of christ in word and deed let us pray 
God our loving Father, we thank you for the word you have given us. You gave the grace to the criminals. You assured dying man his forgiveness and eternal salvation. Lord Jesus, we too are dying every day in our acts, in our deeds. In the name of social inequalities, caste, creed, religion, terrorism, racism and fanaticism. Kindly assure us the same forgiveness as well as the salvation. Amen. 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 The third sayings of Jesus. Jesus speaks to his mother, Mother Mary and Apostle John. Gospel according to St. John chapter 19 verses 26 to 27. Jesus said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. And he said to Jesus, said to his apostle John, Here is your mother. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, let us understand who Jesus is. As a son, Jesus fulfills the birth responsibility, the birth right, the birth duty to his mother. Jesus paid way for all the sons and daughters of the family. What is their right? What is their duty? What is their responsibility to care their parents? Here we find out Jesus showed himself what is the duty of the son to the family. At the same time, he handed over the responsibility to his own Apostle John, the responsibility of disciples to care mother, to care mother who are in need. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, let us understand, Jesus revealed his human love, at the same time human love to the family ties and divine love to be united with the Father to fulfill his plan. Let us reflect. Are we taking care of our own mothers who long for the immaculate love at their old age? Let us offer ourselves to our old parents to care, to give ourselves to make them of our own love. Let us pray. My beloved Jesus, instill in each one of us the spirit of love, care and human values to care our own mothers, those who long for the immaculate love at their old age. Amen. 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 The fourth sayings of Jesus, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 27 verse 46. Jesus Christ to Father, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabakthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My dear friends in Christ Jesus. 
the darkest cloud tries to cover the brightest moon the creator cries out in the form of creature the son of god reveals in his human nature the human vulnerabilities and weaknesses let us understand this is a separation from father jesus tells to each one of us i bore your sin i gave myself to you in order to save today i am in the hand of god in the hand of my father crying to him i want to fulfill your plan i want to fulfill your design my dear friends in christ jesus the lord jesus cries to each one of us saying to us my dear children i am crying for you i am crying for your weaknesses i am crying for your vulnerability i am crying that you are walking in the darkness you are being separated from me you have no faith in god i am not changing i am god who i am who in what way i was leading all the people exodus chapter 3 verse 14 god revealed i am who i am my dear friends in christ jesus the christ of jesus tells to each one of us separation is nothing but the your own sinful nature let us reflect what is the reason of our separation from jesus let us pray heavenly father you bore our sins because of our human sins and the limitations vulnerability you revealed the death death as a separation from the father bring forth our minds hearts and actions together to the life of holiness that we may always be united with you here on earth and after the death amen 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 the fifth sayings of jesus on the cross jesus speaks to the whole humanity john chapter 19 verse 28 we read jesus says i am thirsty i am thirsty jesus knows the human reactions the human provocation the human negotiation to the divine mission that came to an end but jesus fulfills in perseverance the plan of god the messianic prophecy which is found psalm chapter 69 verse 21 my dear friends jesus continues the salvific plan the salvific operations of jesus through death and resurrection in order to be with us always jesus was not disappointed jesus did not get into the mood of vulnerabilities always he did not remain in the state of status he did not remain the status of disappointment discouragement rather jesus said i am thirsty my dear friends let us reflect jesus says i am thirsty thirsty means 
accomplishing the divine plan of the father that is healing and deliverance do we obey let us reflect a while do we obey the commandment of the lord in order to receive healing and deliverance what are the ways we want to have healing and deliverance let us introspect god said to each one of us through his son jesus my son is thirsty thirsty in giving you healing thirsty in saving you from sins thirsty in deliverance from all types of satanic dominations my dear friends let us pray father heavenly father we thank you for the son jesus jesus son of david heal our soul from all types of weaknesses and sins deliver us from the clutches of satanic dominations amen amen the sixth sayings of jesus on the cross jesus speaks to father that we read john chapter 19 verse 30 it is finished it is finished jesus accepted the crucifixion for a divine purpose as a sign of victory the plan of god it is not only a sign of victory on the cross but also is a sign and sacrament of christian life lord jesus said it is finished not for self projection not for self glory not for self recognition not for self publicity because jesus the gospel of john chapter 10 verse 18 he says no one can take away my life from me but i lay down my life for my own accord my dear friends in christ jesus jesus says to each one of us he has the authority from father to lay his life for us one secondly he says he has the authority to raise his life again my dear friends in christ jesus nobody can take the right from jesus jesus is the only supreme authority he is the savior of the world that's what jesus reveals no one take away my life my dear friends in christ jesus let us reflect a while jesus says it is finished means it is a final act of obedience to the father and the fulfillment of the scripture let us reflect a while how do we obey jesus how do we obey the commandment of the lord what are the ways we fulfill the scripture in our life let's pray my dear jesus we thank you for being the fulfillment of scripture strengthen us the spirit of laying down our life for the gospel and raise it our faith to be a witness raise up 
all the marginalized and the weakest sections in the society give us the grace to raise up all the weakest sections of the society amen 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 seventh saints of jesus gospel according to luke chapter 23 verse 46 he says jesus commits his spirit to the father father into your hands i commit my spirit father into your hands I commit my spirit. The divine and human nature of Jesus is going back to Father. Jesus submitting the both nature, both activities of his nature to Father. Jesus here he confirms by handing over his spirit to Father. His presence is. being with us as a protector and guide my dear friends in Christ Jesus Jesus shows the sense of gratitude to father by submitting by surrendering by committing his spirit to father in all his designs and fulfilling the plan my dear friends in Christ Jesus Jesus he entered into death and offered himself by fulfilling God's plan at the same time he lived a life of offering to father Jesus at last he gave himself as a living sacrifice as a person as a whole he gave himself as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to god my dear friends in christ jesus let us reflect a while jesus entered himself entered into death by submitting his spirit to father it is a sign of fulfillment of god's plan it's a sign of god's presence and he's going back to father as a sign of sense of gratitude let us reflect a while are we grateful to father the almighty god who has given us his breath that every day we breathe in and breathe out let us ask ourselves and introspect what are the ways we are submitting ourselves to father let us pray lord jesus help us to offer our body and soul as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to god amen Amen. Amen. My dear friends, as we have reflected upon the seven sayings of jesus on the cross let us submit ourselves and understand these seven sayings of jesus have a missionary significance and they remind us always a fact of history and supreme 
sacrifice of Jesus. Let us continue to do these salvific operations of Jesus. Number one, let us forgive others when they deliberately inflict pain for us. Number two, to promise the blessings of God to everyone at the same time. Number three, let us care our parents at their old age. Number four, always be united with the Father who has given us the life, who has given us the breath to breathe in and breathe out. Number fifth, to thirst for love, love of God, love of neighbor, and to love everyone. Sixth, be glorified for all the sense of satisfaction, the joyful satisfaction that we receive from others. Seventh, let us submit and surrender our spirit of hope, faith and charity to the Father. My dear friends, let us return to Jesus, restore our faith in Jesus and rise up with Jesus. Let our Lord Jesus Christ be glorified and ever be glorified forever and ever. Amen. Mm -hmm.